And what's up, people? It's your boy Billy Mac. Another video for you. So, Roe v. Wade. Here's the thing that we need to understand. As you can see, a video I posted earlier this week, I'm officially part of the Red Pill community. Um, I still have some beta or blue traits about me, but because like I believe in monogamy, <laughs> but um, I am definitely like it's like 90 10 red pill, if you will. Uh, and there's some niggas out there that probably unless I'm 100 percent all in, they don't even want to deal with me. Um, so this this video is more so giving my thoughts on what this actually means. And at first I was I was like, yeah, I was very like pro-life. Oh, first of all, I am pro-life, period. I am pro-life, period, okay? I do not believe in killing. Um, personally, part of me doesn't even like, I don't, I don't really, if somebody, unless it's for a networking opportunity, I really wouldn't want to go hunting. Like, I don't, I don't have any desire to do that. I think, I think war is the dumbest thing on earth. Um... I think war is the dumbest thing on earth. There are other ways to do it. I am very pro-life. I don't even like to kill insects half the time. The insects not bothering me or, or doing anything to my, to my daughter or anything like that. It's an insect. It's, it's harmless. I'm not, I, I don't even like killing insects, me personally. So I'm very, very pro-life. But I understand pro-choice. I understand pro-choice. All Roe v. Wade did was, first of all, it didn't eliminate abortion. Let's, let's get that out the way. Roe v. Wade did not eliminate abortion. It just made it more difficult because it put the onus on the state. The state decides whether you can have an abortion or not. I live in Georgia. And if I'm in, if, um, let me see, Georgia abortion, Georgia abortion law. Or I said, that's easier. Abortion bans map. <laughs> oh, let's see. Okay. State of Georgia. So an abortion So an abortion must be performed by a licensed um physician. It I'm guessing it doesn't have to be performed at a hospital. Um second physician okay. Okay, 6 weeks. 24 you can in Florida you can abort a baby in 24 weeks okay partial birth abortion yo okay okay <laughs> okay okay I just, hey, I was only looking at Georgia and I was looking at Georgia and probably shouldn't have, probably shouldn't have did that. Um, but, but ultimately, <laughs> ultimately abortion, all, all the, it, this did not make abortion illegal or legal or whatever it just made it it just put the onus on the state and so depending on what state you in depends on whether you can get an abortion or not 
And shout out to Fresh and Fit and Just Pearly Things. But the abortion rate, and I know because there's a lot of people, what if I get, what if I get, um, what if I get ARD? What if I get ARD? If you don't know what ARD is, it rhymes with, um, it rhymes with the fruit grape. But what if I get ARD? Okay, ARD only covers maybe two to three percent of all abortions. So, in other words, y'all females out here try uh, raw dogging folks, and y'all don't want the baby. This is why. See, this is the stuff, and 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 maybe this is you know I feel, I feel like it's a gift and a curse. Because back when I was in school and they were teaching us to practice safe sex, that was one of the, I would, I would, getting an STD was not my issue. My issue was having a baby because I know my dick. Can I say dick? I don't know. I just said it's too late now. I know my, I know my penis. Me and my penis have a great relationship. But sometimes my penis likes to go rogue. And when it go rogue, and when it goes rogue, chaos can ensue. So part of me is like, yo, I just can't have sex because I'm not old enough to be having kids right now. Now, granted, if I was to F around and have a kid, first of all, I'm taking care of my child. It's just I'm gonna do what I gotta do, take care of my child. But the second thing is, it's just, why would you want to do that? Why? Like, use a condom, y'all. Use a goddamn condom. I don't even know why I had to explain that, but just use a condom. Second thing. Um, we, as, we as people need to understand that uh, we need to do our research because even I, when 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 the state when the um, Supreme Court um, abolished the Roe v. Wade decision, abolished may be a bad word, but overturned it. I overturned it. Thank you. They when they overturned the Roe v. Wade um, ruling. I immediately thought the same thing that everybody else thought. Um, damn. They trying, they trying to tell a female what to do with her body. Nah, son. <laughs> nah, son. All they did, all it did was um, they're not trying to tell a female how to, what to do with her body. All it did was, I need to get some cheese anyway. Just thought about that. All it did was put the onus on the state. It did not make abortions legal or illegal. It just put it on the state. So based on what state you live in, it determines whether you can have an abortion or not. Some states, and there's a lot of nuances to it. Like I was just reading the Georgia, as long as it's performed by a licensed person, Physician, but it can't be performed in a hospital. Like, wow, that's that's wow, that's crazy. In fact, abortion policies. It says abortion policies current in effect for Georgia. Abortion is banned at six weeks or later. So you have five weeks to get an abortion. Patients forced to wait 24 hours, 24 hours after counseling, but not required to be in person to obtain an abortion. State Medicaid coverage of abortion care is banned except for in very limited circumstances. So if you don't even have health insurance, you're not getting an abortion, period. Parental consent or notice is required for a minor's abortion. That means both parents have to agree. And only physicians can provide abortions. No other qualified health care professionals. So 
And this is from um, states.gumacher.org. And this is as of August 17th to 2022. So, so, um, yeah, man. So in Georgia, if you ain't got your ish together in the state of Georgia, you're going to have to go somewhere else. You're going to have to go somewhere else. Um, you can't go to Alabama. You can't go to Mississippi. Well, let's look at Florida. Florida has some. First of all, this is crazy. Uh, abortion is banned at 15 weeks or later. Patients forced to make patients forced to make two trips, one for in-person counseling. The other one is at least 24 hours later of the abortion for later for the abortion. State Medicaid coverage for abortion care is banned and set. So even in the state of Florida, if you don't have health insurance, you're not getting you're not getting an abortion. Parental consent or notice is required for the minor's abortion. Um, only physicians can provide abortions. Unnecessary regulations are enforced and designed to shutter abortion clinics without basis in medical standards. So it's pretty much the same. Um, I guess the less what makes it less restrictive is you have more time. You have up to 15 weeks to abort a baby. <sighs> now, let's look at somebody who is very protective. The state of Oregon. You can uh, in the state of Oregon. The state of Oregon. Abortion is not restricted based on gestational age. Let's just humor myself. Gestational definition. The process of carrying of being carried in the womb between conception and birth. Not restricted based on gestational. That means in the state of Oregon, you can abort a baby at 30 weeks. <laughs> it's not funny, but this is, is, is you can't make this up. That's crazy. That's crazy. Listen, I understand. I understand. And, and this is the part I, I personally... If I engage with a female and I get her pregnant, I'm having the baby. If she doesn't want anything to do with me, she wants to move on. She don't want nothing to do with that baby. Fine. I will take care of the baby myself. It's my responsibility. I should have put a coat on. But. And, and I, I get that some some of y'all will and want re abortion. Some of y'all feel like. As a parent, you're just not where you need to be. You're not you as a parent, you're not where you're not where you need to be. It is what it is. I get it. But this is ridiculous. State Medicaid funds cover abortion. Private health insurance plans are required to cover abortion. Huh. Okay, so maybe my information was wrong about. Have you got to have health insurance? Qualified healthcare professionals and not solely physicians can provide abortions. So I wonder if that means nurses can do abortions in in Oregon too. State fund helps patients pay for abo abortion care, protections for patients and abortion class and abortion clinic staff. So y'all want an abortion that bad? You better get on a plane and go to go to Oregon. You better get on a plane and go to Oregon. But this is this is the part we need to understand. This is why I made this video. This is the part we need to understand. We have to stop being so quick to judge when things happen and really pay attention to what's really, really going on. Because when when they overturned Roe v. Wade, we automatically thought, oh, 
They're basically saying women got to have these babies. They, women, women can't decide if they get an abortion. That's absolutely true. Women can't decide if they want to get an abortion. The state decides. And therefore, they need to go to another state to get an abortion. And dare I say, let's say you're in a situation when the woman wants to keep the baby, but the man wants the abortion, or the man wants to keep the baby and the woman wants the abortion. The state is like, here, you keeping the baby. Here, you keeping the baby. So it takes the decision out of the parents' hands, if you will. And that that's something that is controversial. It's... It's me, like I said, and this is this is all opinion based. I am very, I am very, very, very pro-life. So I don't I don't feel like because and then a lot of women will say, well, we don't want that child to grow up poor. This that's why there's government assistance, y'all. There is government assistance. And then let and okay. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. There's a lot of y'all going to get mad at me for this. Let's be real. There's government assistance, but we live in a country that is literally called the land of opportunity. Make a better life for yourself. I'm having to do that right now. I got a lot going on. I, 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 have, I have a job where I'm literally having to work overtime because we're short all the goddamn time. But I, I'm doing my YouTube thing because I want better for myself. So I, I'm doing the YouTube thing. I got my business. Most of y'all know about Never Alone. I, I have to meet with a business consultant to, to find out is, is, is my business idea even worth it? Because it failed the first time. It failed miserably the first time. Not, nobody signed up. Nobody signed up. My advertising did not work. People went to the website, but nobody signed up. How, so it's now it's like, okay, is it, do I need to, you know, I, that's why I need to go to a business consultant to find out what I need to do to fix it. That's number one. So, you know, I, I'm losing weight. I got to lose weight. I'm, I'm on, I'm doing keto and intermittent fasting with exercising. I got to take time out of the day to put in the work because I want a better life for myself and my, my family. So, so this excuse about you don't want your baby to grow up poor. Okay, fix it. Fix it. I'm having to, and I, mind you, I've never been quote unquote poor but i've never been quote unquote rich or wealthy either and that's where that's the goal cuz there are a lot of people that if you ask some people if you ask people who are rich and wealthy they'll say if you grew up middle class and you're still middle class you have failed you have failed the goal is to get better if you grew up middle class and you're still middle class you have failed that hit me hard because even though we, my parents grew up, we grew up lower middle class. Like we were, we were, a, we were barely making it. We weren't poor, poor. We didn't need government assistance. But I did like when I was in school, I wasn't able to go on a whole lot of trips. I wasn't, I couldn't join band because they, my parents didn't have money for the instrument and stuff like that. Like there were stuff. Like I was able to do the certain things, but I couldn't do everything. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm now in a position. Um, in if if my daughter comes home saying she wants piano lessons, I can I can get her piano lessons. At least me and her mother can get her piano lessons. You see what I'm saying? I couldn't do that when I was little. So maybe I am doing better for myself than when than when I was little, but still. Got to do better. So now I know that was off topic, but that to me, that's that's no longer an excuse. So put a rubber on, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> fellas, put a rubber on. Ladies, get the um, get the um, 
There, I mean, the, the, there's so many contraceptives out there. And, and there are some that literally prevent pregnancy 99% of the time. What, like, what's the problem? What's the problem? If, 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 I get it. I get it. You like to have sex. Okay. Do what's necessary. It's, it's like, <laughs> I love, I'm a big dude. I'm a big dude. I love cakes, pies, and ice cream. And cheesecake and pastries. That's my vice. And guess what I have to do? First of all, I have to moderate when I eat those things because I don't want diabetes. Again, yes, I had diabetes. I got out of it because I'm that type of nigga. I had diabetes and I said, nope, don't want that. I don't want nothing to do with that. I had to prick my finger. I had to watch my sugar and everything. I got that. I got my A1C down. I was at an 8.1. I'm now at a 6.1. It took a year, but I got there. These things take time. So guess what? When I eat my, my sweets, well, I'm doing keto right now, so I can't even have sugar. I have to use sugar substitutes because sugar has carbs in it, and I can't have carbs. So when, uh, when, I, when I eat when I, or when I get off of keto, because keto is not sustainable, thanks to my research, keto is not sustainable. You cannot eat, do keto for the rest of your life. It's just it's not sustainable. Or at least you can switch to a low-carb diet. You can switch to a low-carb diet, but you can't just do keto for the rest of your life. But, um, yeah, yeah. Um, I was pointing at my fridge, <laughs> but yeah, I, um, but yeah, when I get off a of keto, I'm not, I'm going to, I can, it's not that I can't eat those things. It literally has to be moderation and moderation is probably once a week, maybe even once a month. You ask certain, you ask certain health, health people, like you ask certain fitness trainers and stuff, stay away from the sugar altogether. Just don't even bother. But I've never had a problem with sugary drinks. I stopped drinking soda when I was like in middle school. I just completely was like, I'm over soda. Um, I love lemonade, though. <sighs> love lemonade. But even then, it's like every now and then type of thing. And so, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Y'all, I'm, yeah. I I am about that life. So, Get better, do better, okay? Wear a condom. Ladies, get a, get a contraceptive. You know, get some health care insurance. Be safe. We ain't even going to go into the sexually transmitted um, diseases and stuff, man. We ain't even going to go into that. But do your research. Learn what this stuff is before you just start going off about it on Facebook, all right? It's your boy, Billy Mack, and I'll holler at you next time.